the September 19th meeting of the Metro Council to order and notice that uh, with the exception of Councillor Collette who was excused, we are all here. We have a citizen communication uh, to start the meeting, so Carl Wickman, uh, if you come forward, please. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Council President, members of the Council. For the record, I'm Carl Wickman, and I live in the infamous Stafford Triangle, and have for over 30 years. I've examined numerous Metro documents relating to Johnson Creek, and have noted many references in your documents to an unnamed existing covered bridge on Southeast Deardorff Road, which I believe is in uh, Council President Craddock's district. It may seem commonplace to those who live near the bridge, but their covered bridges are truly a rarity in today's world of concrete and steel. At one time, the United States had 14,000 covered bridges. The latest World Guide to Covered Bridges lists about 1,600 covered bridges in the world, 880 of those in the United States. In Oregon, we once had over 600 covered bridges. Today, only 51 remain. This is the largest number of covered bridges west of the Mississippi River and ranks Oregon number five in the United States. These covered bridges bring tourism money to Oregon, not just from neighboring states, but from all across the world. They even have collector plates for the bridge I'm talking about in Kirchner-Craddock's district. The Johnson Creek Watershed Council identifies over 50 bridges crossing Johnson Creek, but only one covered bridge. That is the metro's referred to unnamed existing covered bridge with a name, Cedar Crossing. The Federal Transportation Equity Act for the 21st century established the National Historic Covered Bridge Preservation Program. It includes research for means of restoring and protecting covered bridges. In the past decade, federal funding has grown to augment that of the states and local governments in finding ways to find a way to comprehensive and proven means of protecting these remainders, reminders of our bridge building heritage so that these bridges can continue to serve current and future generations. It is in this spirit that Multnomah County is hosting the rededication of Multnomah County and Portland's first and only ever covered bridge, Cedar Crossing. On Saturday, September 28th from 1 to 2.30 p.m. at the historic Wickman Building located at Southeast 64th and Holgate Boulevard. Join these invited speakers and presenters, Representative Blumenauer, State Representatives Kenny Geyer and Jeff Reardon, County Commissioner Judy Shiprack, County Director of Community Services Kim Peoples, a special poetry reading by Portland's Bridge Lady Sharon Woods, and we'll hear from the woman who created the name Cedar Crossing, Janelle Lamont. So please, if you can, join the parade to the historic Wickman Building, which, by the way, is the first building ever, ever in Multnomah County, and as far as we can tell, the state of Oregon, to be named for a woman. That is not a, a non-school building. So please, if you can, come out on September 28th to celebrate Cedar Crossing Covered Bridge. And I thank you for your time, and I thank you for your service to the citizens of the region. Thank you, thank very, you much. very much. Thank you for taking the time to come tell us about this. Yes, Councilor Craddock, since it's the bridges in your district, you get the honor of I just want to say thank you for bringing this to my attention. I was not aware of the celebration, and we'll do my best. I know I have another event that, that day, and so I'm, I'll do my best to attend, but I really appreciate your coming today and bringing this to our attention. Thank you. And we will also work to the best of our abilities to no longer refer to it as the unnamed, un unknown <laughs> covered bridge. <laughs> Um, I see no other blue cards, so I assume that was our only uh, citizen communication. So we will now uh, consider council minutes for September 12, 2003.